What's up everybody? Today we're doing an Amazon review of the Glock 19X. Here we go. We're gonna be doing five or six different tests to test out the gun, see what, see how accurate it is, see how far it'll shoot. We're also gonna do a rise test. We're gonna go into the wind and see how much it rises using the wind. And there's a rise setting on the gun that you can switch around to set the rise on it, but we're gonna see what it's like without changing it straight out of the box. And we're gonna do a damage test to see how much, see how much it dents metal, see what it does to cardboard and paper. We're just gonna see what it all it does. And to end it all, we're gonna do a pain test. One of us is gonna shoot each other and we're gonna see how bad it hurts. We're gonna scale it from one to 10 and tell you guys how bad it hurts. For some of you, you may not wanna buy a gun that hurts really bad, but it may not hurt bad, so we'll see what it does. For our first test, we're doing a accuracy test. We got this beautiful target that took about five seconds to draw. We're gonna dump a whole mag at it and see where we hit. We got it set up on the tree right there. Let's see where we're going. All right, Reggie's up first. Here's Reggie's shot. He hit. He hit nine out of. 14 we're gonna see what i can get but that's pretty accurate it's at 10 yards so if somebody had peeked behind a tree just peeked around and saw you you could hit him real easily here's my shot all right here's mine we both hit nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We both hit nine, so we don't know who's more, who's the better shot, but this pistol's pretty accurate from 10 yards. This is our 20 yard grouping. Let's just see if we can even hit the target. So at 20 or 30 yards from on the porch. This is where we hit. There's two there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of 10. That's pretty good. And I hit six. Let's see what Reggie can do. All right, I had six to start with and reggie added two more to it so he only hit two i really think it's just the person shooting it but it had a little bit of rise from 20 yards but not enough to miss a person standing there so it's pretty well accurate we're about 100 yards out we're gonna see if we can hit that barn it's a big barn big target but It's a long ways away and that's a big target. I don't think you're gonna be shooting anybody that far. But this would be a great secondary to have. If you guys are looking for any secondary or anything, I'd say about 30 yards and in is good. But for long range, this is not a great gun. For this one, we're doing the rise test. We're aiming at this wood and we're gonna see where it hits. It's not rising a lot, about a foot and a half, two feet, maybe more, but that's pretty sneaking good for a pistol. That's about 40, 50 yards, so that's pretty good. All right, our next test is the damage test. We're going to see how many pieces of paper it can go through. We're going to shoot at some metal and show you guys what it does. Here's two pieces. 
straight through. Alright, here's four pieces. Okay, this is eight pieces. Straight through again. Here's 16 pieces of paper. Let's see if it'll go through. No, it didn't. Okay, this is 11. Nope. Alright, there you have it. It can't get through 11 pieces of paper. Now we're going to shoot this metal and see what it does to it. Taking off the paint and giving it a pretty good dent. Yeah, some of them it made a hole. Okay, we got some pretty thin cardboard. This is thinner than normal, but we'll see if we can make it through it. Yep, some of them made it through it, not all of them. One of them sitting right there. Okay, we'll see if we make it through too. I think it's not going to. It made one and here's the pain test. I'm gonna stand here. Reggie's gonna stand right there. Let's see how bad it hurts. <laughs> I didn't feel it. You did? I, I it hit my shoulder, but it didn't hurt that bad. For the pain test, it really doesn't hurt that bad. It stings a little bit, but it goes away in about 30 seconds, it's not bad at all. So if you're not too scared about getting hit, it should be fine. But it's not a bad gun at all. I'm sure you're wondering what my complaints are for the gun, but I only really have one, and you're definitely gonna need a lot of CO2 for it. It takes up a bunch. Here is the CO2 cartridges we're using. We're using 12 gram Crossman Air Power. You can find these on Amazon. We will put the link in the description along with the guns link. So if you guys are thinking about buying this, use my link and go straight to it. So this is the tool that comes with the gun to take the CO2 cartridge out. So right here, this end piece, you stick it in there and twist it and it loosens it up. Also, this is a fake gun, so for everybody watching, don't think this is a real gun. And make sure to go down in my description and use my link to go to Amazon and look at this gun. Alright, that's it. Thanks to everyone for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day.